everybody and welcome back to the Creative Life Studios. So today I wanted to just give you a rundown of the things that I take whenever I travel and want to have kind of a creative kit. We just got back from spending Labor Day with some family and so my, uh, my to-go kit, I guess if you want to call it, is still packed. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to kind of um, to show you what I take along with me. Um, I've got uh, this handled bag that um, I believe I got at Hobby Lobby just a, a few years ago. Um, and it's perfect because it's got, I don't know if you can see inside of it, it's got two big pockets and then some little pockets on the outside for all of your little stuff. Um, like I said, I've had this for a number of years. It's got pockets on the sides. Um, I've actually taken this to numerous uh, Creativation, CHA, whatever you remember it as, um, but they're trade shows. And this is kind of where it's my, when I take my personal stuff to do um, demos and that kind of stuff. This has just been my go-to bag for that. Um, and I can kind of fit um, a little bit of everything. So let's start with what's in the outside pockets. Um, of course, a handy pair of scissors and um, an acrylic block. I do tend to only bring one, because um, you'll see here in a minute, I really only bring one kind of stamps with me. Um, in the other outside pocket is um, just a variety of tools that I might need. So I've got some watercolor brushes. Um, I have got my trusty white um, Sharpie. Um, I've got my Sharpie gel pen, which is another one of my go-to favorites. I feel like I'm doing a makeup tutorial. Should I go like this? Sharpie gel. Anyway. And then I also have a watercolor set. Now this one's new. I've only used it a couple times. Um, but it is by Amy Tangerine. I'm not sure how well you can see that. It's from American Crafts. Um, and I, I have numerous kinds of uh, watercolors, um, like sets like this. I think, well, I say numerous. I've got like four, including this one. Um, but this one's really different, and I really liked it when I found it. I found it at uh, Michael's when actually when we were on vacation of, of not long ago. Um, so I'm just going to kind of open it for you and kind of let you see it. So it is... Ah, if I can get it open. It's kind of this trifold situation. There we go. Um, what's different about this compared to other watercolor sets is, of course, you've got your colors. You've got your little paint palette over here. Um, it's got a place for your water um, brush. But here's what makes it super, super cool. is It also has your little sponge so you can clean your brush off. Um, but it has things that I've never seen in any other color water, any other watercolor sets. It's got, it's got this great little bottle, which has this cute little, I'm not sure why you can see that because of the light. Um, it says, hello, sweetness. But it's a special bottle that's specifically made to kind of suck up water and then fill your water brush. Um, because if you're on the road, you can't just go to a faucet and fill that up or something like that. Um, so this has, let's see if I can do this one handed. There it goes. Has a little tip on it. I might have to make up it so you can kind of see the little tip on the top and um, that fits right in there and you always have water available for your water brush. I think that's fantastic. And something else that's really cool in it that's not in other ones that I've seen, it actually comes with a pencil and a black fine liner pen. So you kind of have um, a really go-to art set kind of all in one. I think it was... Um, $30? I think that sounds right. Um, but I had a coupon, of course. Um, so I think I obviously paid like 25, no, like 18 bucks for it or something. Um, so either way, not super expensive, super great. Um, kind of has everything you need all in one. And so that one is right here in the outside pocket. Um, I always bring just one set of alphabet stamps with me. And of course, I'm using my new, you probably can't see it really well, um, but they're these cool um, kind of typewriter font ones that I just recently bought um, at the Hobby Lobby. Um, and I find those just to be really multi-purpose um, and just available to kind of do any kind of art that I want. And I've got my acrylic block, so I'm good to go on that. Um, so on the inside, you're going to kind of see I've got a couple of things right here. In addition to my alphabet stamps, I always bring just a couple of random um, sticker sets. Um, this time I brought this, I always call it vintage because it's really old, um, but it's from Authentique, which is that still around? I used to love them. I don't know if they're still around, but um, it just has a bunch of words and a couple of alphabets, perfect little size just to fit in here, and just some plain black ones from Seven Gypsy. Again, 
just something that I can work into any project. Um, and then I also brought um, these little basics words from, um, can you see it? That light's kind of a little, a little bright. Um, it's just what they call their basics cardstock sticker booklet. So it's just a bunch of multicolored stickers that are just a bunch of words that I can mix and match if I want to do some kind of journaling. And then also in here, um, I don't tend to bring any of my big illustrated Bibles for obvious reasons because they're really heavy and they take up a lot of room. Um, so I always just use one of my smaller single, um, single column journaling Bibles. Uh, if it's perfectly in this little bag, what I usually will do, um, because I do tend to still use my watercolors and that kind of thing and some other mediums that you'll see here in a second, um, I will go in before I leave um, and pre-gesso, um, clear gesso uh, three or four pages and that way I have some stuff started. Um, and then I'll use something like wax paper or something like this, which is, this is palette paper, um, so it has a nice slick surface. Um, I just put that in between my pages so that they don't stick together while they're kind of in transition. But I've got those pages prepped and then that way I can really use any kind of medium that I want to. And then I also bring with me um, just a small um, art journal. This is the, I always want to say Dina Wakely, but it's Diane Reebley from Delusion, sorry. Um, just my small one to kind of play in if I just want to doodle or if I want to, on the way home last time I was practicing um, making roses. So there are just roses and more roses. <laughs> they look better when I'm not in the car. Um, more roses. Messed up, didn't even try. Uh, that was my finished one the last time I did it. So I was like, that's not bad for a first time making roses. I was like, especially when you're doing it in a car. Um, this was for a Facebook Live I was practicing in. Um, so super handy. It's, um, I don't know the dimensions of it, but it's the smaller of the two. And it's super great and it fits perfectly right in here. Um, I also always bring ta -da, just a bunch of gel prints. It's a great time to use maybe when you've done some, uh, some play dates with your gel press plate. Um, and... Like I've got some from when I've done some Facebook Lives in the Faith Impressions group on Facebook. So just, and then that way I can just go in and cut out the pieces I want, cut shapes and that kind of stuff. And it's just some plain copy paper that's not taking up a lot of space, but it's a great way to be able to add texture and dimension and color to my, um, to my projects when I'm on the go. And so I do keep those kind of in here. All right, now onto the mediums that I kind of carry with me. Um, well, I have a phone charger. Oh no, that would be the Apple Watch charger we've been looking for. So winning, yay. Um, so a few mediums that I carry with me, um, they're all gonna be um, like a water-based medium. I don't carry acrylic paints or anything with me, mainly just because uh, it just doesn't make sense if I'm creating in the car. Um, and rarely when we get to where we're going, do I have time to sit down and just create. So really like the five hour drive to Dallas or the two hour drive to Branson um, is kind of my only creative time when we're on trips. Um, so here's the things I bring with me. Of course, I bring with me uh, my black archival ink, perfect for my stamps and um, great for, um, since it's permanent and it's waterproof, I can do my stamp, my, I can stamp my letters. And then if I decide I wanted to add some other kind of medium, I don't have to worry about that color lifting. It's my go-to, it's the one I use all the time. Um, I also take with me my smaller um, of my ink tips blocks. Um, I do have the larger set as well, but this one's great for travel. It has 12 colors in it. I wonder if I can open it and show you without dropping anything. Um, so you might think that these look like just a regular like um, pastel, um, but they, so they, they kind of do look like them, but they're actually an ink, which is super awesome. So you would just color with them like you would a pastel um, or use your water brush to activate them and then paint with them like you would a watercolor. What makes these great is since they're ink based, once they dry, they're permanent. So you don't have to worry about if you're wanting to add layers or change things up about lifting those colors and they're super bright, super vibrant. Um, they're in my wheelhouse. I love them. Um, I'll put a link um, right here 
or down there, one of the two, we'll see, um, to uh, a recent Bible journaling entry where I use these. Um, and you'll kind of see that they're great. They're super portable. Um, they come with, let's see if I can open it again, these little wells on the side. So you can kind of mix your paint colors and stuff if you want to. Um, love them. They're my go-to. And then I also take um, my Neo Colors. So I don't have a smaller version of this, so it's just this for you. But it's not, I mean, it's just slightly bigger than my Bible and really thin. Um, but these are water-soluble um, wax crayons. So these are not permanent, so they definitely act more like a watercolor. But you have more control because you can, let me see if I can show it to you. Um, you can use them in color with them like you would a crayon and then go back and activate them with water um, to smooth them out and that kind of thing. And so and there's 40 colors in this, so you kind of have all, all, all your bases covered. I, of course, always take just my um, color pencils. Um, these are just Master's Touch from Hobby Lobby. Um, I do have some Prismacolor somewhere, too. Um, however, a child at some point has absconded with them, and so I'm not sure where they are. Um, and so these are just handy in the little case, easy to transport. Um, I also take these, which are just some graphite sticks. They're kind of like big graphite, um, let me see if I can pull them out for you. Big graphite um, crayons, I guess, for lack of a better word. I can kind of show them to you. They're from Prima. Um, those are great if I'm wanting to do something in grayscale or if I'm wanting to just add some, um, some shadows um, and just play around. Um, I haven't used them a lot, um, but they're water soluble graphite sticks. So um, you draw with them similar to where you would a graphite stick or a pencil, um, and then you use your watercolor to activate them and that kind of stuff. So just a super fun product to kind of have at your disposal. Um, these are new and I just kind of tuck them in there. Um, of course, mechanical pencils, you can never have enough of those. Um, these are the Velocity V.9. The this one, and then they actually make a thicker lead that's like a 1.3, um, are kind of my go-tos if I'm like doodling or drawing and that kind of stuff, just because, um, I don't know, I like them. I feel like they're easier to shade with if I'm just doing a pencil drawing or a pencil doodle. And so those are in here as well. And then the last thing I have in here um, is just these just cute little small stencils. Um, I actually found these at Walmart. Um, they're by American Crafts, but they're really great heavyweight stencil, um, but they're smaller. So I guess they're probably like an A2 size, so like the size of a card. Um, but there's like a flower, there's some little bubbles, there's of course some lines, um, and then some leaves. And they fit kind of just perfectly in here, just to give myself a little fun, um, depending on what I want to do. And so, so that is my travel kit. This is kind of basically what I take with me whenever um, we're traveling long distances for soccer games or any of that kind of thing. And I kind of feel like I have enough of everything and enough colors and enough um, just things to kind of keep me happy, um, but not feeling like I'm lugging half of my art studio when I do it. Um, a couple of other things that you can add to this that I think would be super great um, is if you don't have watercolors or water soluble crayons or access to that kind of stuff, um, Faber-Castell gelatos um, work very similar um, and they're very creamy so you can actually work them with your fingers. Um, I just did a video with that recently, I'll plug that right there for you. Um, and they're super great to either activate with water or just smear with your fingers to get kind of more of a, a, a watercolory kind of look. Um, so those would be super great to transport with. And of course, you know, your barrage of Sharpies, always, always a great thing to travel with. Um, and then if you want to do some double duty, um, just use your planner stickers. I did a video with that recently. Um, I'll put that one down in the comments too, or in the description too. But then that way, if you've got your planner with you um, and your planner stickers, you're not carrying around double things because you'll have your Sharpies or your flare pens that you might use in your, um, in your, what am I thinking of? <laughs> and your planner, that's what I'm trying to think of. Um, but then you also can use them for some Bible journaling and that kind of stuff. So it's, it's great to think of things that could be used two ways. And that way you're um, not having to, again, carry around half of your, your studio or your, your supply with you. Um, so I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope it was super helpful to help you put together um, just a little kit that you can travel um, with to do any kind of art, really. It doesn't have to be Bible journaling. It can be art journaling. You can just 
be doodling. Uh, it can be just whatever you need to not only pass the time on a trip, but be able to just express yourself just kind of whenever you have time. So thanks for stopping by and I will see you guys on Monday for another video.